In this nugget, we're going to learn how to carry out a distillation. Distillation separates a liquid from a solution. It's a process to separate mixtures. The solution is heated until it boils. The liquid evaporates and then is condensed into another container. It can be used to separate a mixture of a liquid and a solid, or a mixture of different liquids, as long as the liquids have different boiling points, such as in fractional distillation. It can be used to extract plant oils, such as limonene, separate parts of crude oil, make samples of pure water from salt water, or investigate the components of dyes. So what equipment will we need? We'll need a conical flask, thermometer, clamp and stand, Bunsen burner, some dye, three-way adapter, a condenser, a round-bottomed flask, and a rubber tube. First, add the liquid you're going to distill to your round bottom flask. You can also add insoluble anti-bumping granules to make the liquid boil more smoothly and reduce the risk of the liquid boiling over, but it's optional. Clamp your round bottom flask and insert the three-way adapter. Then pop your thermometer in the top of the three-way adapter. Take a second clamp and stand and carefully attach the condenser to the three-way adapter. Make sure you're not holding it too tightly, but it's held firmly in the clamp. Then attach rubber tubing into the condenser and out of the condenser. The rubber tubing with water coming in should be connected to a tap, and the rubber tubing with water coming out should be run into a sink so that you don't end up with water all over the lab bench. Next, place a conical flask under the end of the condenser. Your liquid should be able to drip from the condenser into the conical flask. Really make sure it's underneath. Then you'll need a Bunsen burner and it should be able to move under the round bottom flask. Let's look at the thermometer in a little bit more detail. Make sure it's positioned so that it's measuring the temperature of gas that's evaporating out of the round bottom flask and then moving into the condenser. This way you can make sure that it's always at the correct boiling point. Let's look at the condenser in a little bit more detail. Make sure that water is flowing in at the bottom and coming out at the top. Switch on your tap and then light your Bunsen burner on a yellow safety flame and open the hole so that you have a blue roaring flame to heat up your liquid. Move your Bunsen burner under the round bottom flask and heat the liquid steadily. You're going to need to move your Bunsen burner in and out to allow it to cool and heat up. You can use the thermometer to check the temperature is really at boiling point. You don't want it to be higher than boiling point as other liquids may evaporate. As the water evaporates, it travels up through the three-way adapter and then down the condenser. The water in the condenser cools down our liquid, turning it from a gas into a liquid, making it condense to change state. That liquid drips its way down the condenser and then into the conical flask. Distillation takes a while and you'll only be adding water a drip at a time, so you must be patient. Eventually, all of the liquid will have evaporated and you'll be left with a pure concentrated dye in the round bottom flask. Once that has happened, switch off your Bunsen burner, switch off the tap, and then carefully disassemble the apparatus, remembering that the round bottom flask will still be hot. At the end, the dye will be left in the round bottom flask and you'll have pure water collected in the conical flask. And that's how you carry out a distillation. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe to our channel to check out more of Century's content. And visit our website to find out about our learning platform.